DJI Inspire One Unboxing and Preparing for Safe Flight What's included? When we open the box, we find the Inspire One, the remote controller, the camera with gimbal, a neutral density filter, a 16GB SD card, the propellers, the intelligent flight battery, the remote controller charging cable, a micro USB cable, the battery charger, and the harness. Turning on the aircraft and deactivating travel mode. Take the aircraft, the remote controller, and the intelligent flight battery out of the case. Place aircraft on a level surface. Insert the battery into the aircraft. Turn on the remote controller by clicking the power button one time, then holding it down for 3 seconds. Next, turn on the aircraft in the same way. Press the power once, release, and then hold down for 3 seconds. Quickly flip the transformation switch on the remote 4 times. Travel mode has been unlocked and the aircraft is now in landing mode. Do not unlock travel mode when the Inspire 1 is on a carpeted surface. Turn off the aircraft by pressing the power button once, then holding it down for 3 seconds. Mounting the gimbal and camera. Unlock and remove the gimbal protector. Remove the protective cover from the camera. Align up the white line on the top of the gimbal with the white line on the gimbal lock. Insert the gimbal and twist the locking mechanism to the left. Insert the micro SD card into camera. If you are shooting on a bright, sunny day, you should use an ND filter. First, remove the original lens cover by twisting it to the left, then replace it with the ND filter. Mounting propellers and propeller locks. Now you can mount the propellers and propeller locks. Place the grey propellers on the grey screws and turn clockwise to tighten. Twist the propeller to make sure it is firmly secured. Place the black propellers on the black screws and twist counterclockwise to tighten. When mounting on the propeller locks, align the tips of the propeller lock with the ventilation holes on the motor and press the propeller lock onto the nut of the propeller. Press the propeller lock firmly against the motor. Examine to ensure that each propeller lock is secure before each flight. Always be careful when attaching the propellers and propeller locks. Mounting a mobile device in the holder. Expand the mobile device holder to make space for the mobile device. Place the mobile device holder and secure by pushing down on the top. Connect the mobile device's USB cord to the mobile device and connect the other end to the remote controller. For smaller devices, fold down on the brackets and expand the mobile device holder to make space for the mobile phone. Insert the mobile phone onto the holder and secure by pushing down on the top. Connect the mobile phone's USB cord to the mobile phone and connect the other end to the remote controller. Charging the remote controller with the intelligent flight battery. You can use remote controller's charging cable to charge the remote controller when you are flying outdoors. Connect one end of the cable to the intelligent flight battery and the other end to the remote controller. Turn on the intelligent battery. The battery level LED indicators on the remote controller will light up one by one and will all glow solid white when the remote controller is fully charged. The installation process is now complete. Thank you for watching.